Hey everybody, uh, we have a new release on Chaos. It was actually released uh, last week sometime on the 3rd of uh, February, but I'm just catching up on it now for some reason. Uh, I didn't see it slip my radar. So anyways, I'm looking at it now. But right here from DistroWatch, it says that uh, version 2024.01 of Chaos, an independently developed Linux distribution focused on Qt, KDE, Toolkit, and Desktop has been released. This is the project's first stable release that incorporates KDE's upcoming Plasma 6 release, currently in the Release Candidate 2 stage. So uh, I've already downloaded it and I have uh, I have it up in a virtual machine, so let's head on over there and take a look at Chaos. And we're here on the virtual machine and uh, we have a welcome screen that's opened up and it says, thanks for trying Chaos. In need of the password file or package list, Want to learn more about the project? Please find the links below. Don't hesitate to give your opinion about chaos in the forum. And there's a button right here that says install chaos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's opened up a uh, Calamari's installer. Looks like a highly customized Calamari installer, but it is a Calamari installer. So uh, let's go ahead and click on next. And my time zone, American Los Angeles. We'll click on next. And keyboard layout, English US default, click on next. And right here, you got some options for your office. So LibreOffice, no office on minimal install. I'll just leave the default on, click next. And then right here, it's asking you if you want to install Pipewire or Pulse Audio. I'm going to leave Pipewire because that's the default. And I'm going to select the uh, erase disk. And I'm going to change this to ext4. Everything else I'm just leaving as default. And of course, I wanted to install Grub and then enter my user info. So I'll enter Linux Hub and give it a strong and complicated password. And right here, reuse user password as root password. Sure. And I'll set it to login automatically. Then I'll click on next, give you a summary of your uh, of your installation, click on next, and then install now. All right, so it's installed in the system now. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pause the video now. And when we come back, we should be installed with chaos. And the installer is now completed, so I'm going to go ahead and restart the system. All right, and we are officially rebooted now, so uh, I can see that I need to fix the screen resolution. So let me go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll get into the uh, first look here. So I want to open up my settings, so I'll go to system settings. And I'll look for display. Did I pass it? Probably did. Display and monitor, there it is. Look for 1920 by 1080. There it is. Click on apply. And I'm not seeing nothing, so I think it's gonna go back to that uh to that setting that it was on. Okay, it says right here display configuration reverted. So let's try to get something a little bit bigger than this. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. No, it's not working either. So right out the box, I'm getting errors with this right here. Let me see if changing some settings will fix anything. Uh, let's go back. There we go. Then I'll click on keep. All right, so I have to change this right here. Apply scaling themselves back to scaled by the system. So once I did that, it allowed me to go ahead and scale it properly. So we are scaled now at 1920 by 1080. All right, and we've got a little welcome screen here and it says, uh, what is chaos? 
The idea behind Chaos is to create a tightly integrated and transparent distribution for the modern desktop, built from scratch with a very specific focus. Focus on 1DE, KDE Plasma, one toolkit, QT, and one architecture, 86 by 64, plus a focus on evaluating and selecting the most suitable tools and applications. This page, this page will help you personalize the most commonly used settings in your Chaos workspace quickly. So right here you got widget style, plasma theme, window decoration, mouse behavior, icon set, virtual desktops, screen settings, colors, and font settings. Then on the bottom you have some more uh, links. You got customized packages, wallpaper, docs, advance, about, muse, and quit. So I'll uncheck, I don't need it to open up the next time I log in. If I log in, I'll click on quit. All right, so Chaos uses the uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment. And for them, they got their panel on the right side. And you got your system tray on the bottom, pin applications on the top, and your application launcher at the way top. So let's see, their pin applications are gonna be Falcon, the web browser, Kate, Advanced Tech Editor, Dolphin, a file manager, and then you got your desktops here, desktop one and desktop two. And then this is Calculator and Sticky Note. Then you got your uh, eject drives and lock and your power session. And then like I said, your uh, application launcher is up here also. So let's click on that. And right here, you got your uh, applications. So by default, it opens up your favorites. And then after that, we got all applications. Then we got development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, system, utilities and let's see what else in help then you got your power menu down here sleep restart shutdown you got your photo construct and you got this button here that says applications which is what we're on right now so if i click on it i don't think anything happens and it doesn't and plus you got a search up here all right so looking at their applications take a look in the graphics see what we have we have ocular LibreOffice draw and gwen view so when view is going to be your image uh, viewer, ocular is going to be your document viewer and Libre draw is your drawing program. And under internet, we got Falcon. I don't, I'm pretty sure I have seen Falcon before, but uh, let's take a look at it. It's probably been a while. I'm not sure if it's a Firefox base or anything. And right here it says KDE wallet service, the KDE wallet system. Uh, I don't need a wallet system at all. No, oh, cancel. All right, let me put this at full screen. And this is Falcon. So let's see if we can find an about on Falcon. And we do. And we have Falcon application version 24.01.95. And it is a QT web engine version. And it is based on Mozilla 5.0. And this is your web browser. Let's get back to this and see under multimedia, see what they have. They have Anisa, which is a music player, Haruna Media Player, MPV, QTV for LS, Simple Screen Recorder, and VLC. So let's take a look at Anisa. We don't see this often, so it's a good time to take a look at it. And this is your music player, so you got all your controls right here on the left hand side. So Whatever music you got on your system, you want to open it up, you navigate through it right there. And then over here in this hamburger menu, if you click on that, you get your other options along with your abouts. And this is Elisa version 24.01.95. A simple music player made with love by the KDE community. All right, Elisa. And back to multimedia, we have Haruna Media Player. It's another one of those that I... I'm pretty sure I've seen it before, but not too often. And right here, simple enough video player. You just open the file, open URL, add subtitles, audio. Then you got your basic file options. 
And up here you got your help and about Haruna. And Haruna Media Player 0 0.12.3, a configurable media player. All right. Now that's your multimedia. There's other things in here like VLC and but we see those a lot, so figure we'll look at something we don't look at usually. So right here in the office section, you got of course your office suite, and you also got Ocular, which you saw in the graphics. So Ocular is just a simple basic uh PDF viewer. Nothing special, nothing great about it, just a PDF viewer. And you got your files up here, your file settings. And then under help, we got about Ocular. Ocular version 24.01.95. Ocular, a universal document viewer. And let's get back over here. Under settings, we got our system settings. And then we got KVantum Manager. This is for your QT uh, applications. Then you got your system. Well, we got Dolphin. Info Center, console, pretty much a lot of the stuff that you need to use. So first let's open up Dolphin, take a look at our file manager. And this is uh, pretty much standard on uh, KDE systems. And let's take a look at the about, see what version we're running. And Dolphin is version 24.01.95. And back to the system, we also have an Info Center. Take a look at the info center. And pretty much this is uh, where you get your Cisco info right here. It tells you the version of KDE you're running, your frameworks, QT, kernel, your graphics, processor, memory. Pretty much get your whole system layout right here. And it looks like we are using Wayland on this one. So, and uh kernel let's see where it was that at all right here 6.6.1 no 6.6.14-1 all right so now let's take a look at uh see what a uh, terminal emulator which is going to be console standard on kde and console is a little uh a little different right here you get app open a new tab split view you can paste and then you got your hamburger menu where you'll find your help along with the about. And on console, of course, is version 24.01.95, which I'm assuming that's the version of uh, Plasma we're using is 24. Do you know what? Uh, I'm going to leave that there. Let me go back and open up the Info Center and see if that is the Plasma version. No, it's the Plasma version right here. It says 5.93. All right, just wanted to double check on that. Didn't want to be talking out of my butt or anything like that. And since I got the uh, terminal opened up, let's see if we can uh, open up HTOP. Ah, uh, no HTOP. How about NeoFetch? And no NeoFetch. So let's search for a package manager on here because I think this is an independent system. So I wouldn't know what commands are running the terminal. So let's look for a software manager. And we got Octopi, so maybe it is a uh, running Arch, some type of Arch-based system. I'm pretty sure I thought it said it was independent-based, but I could be wrong. I look at so many distros and so many uh, of these that, you know, it's all garbled in my head by now. Well, anyway, this is Octopi, and let's take a look at the About. It's Octopi version 0 0.15.0. And from right here, let's see if we can find HTOP. And there it is. Select it. I don't know if I have to yeah, right click and then click install. Then click on the check mark, I think. No. And then, oh, there you go. Click on yes. And then it asks for a password. All right. It looks like it's installing. Not sure if, it, oh yeah, command finish, okay. All right, so that's HTOP. Let's now search for NeoFetch. Don't think it's finding NeoFetch. But that's all right. 
Let's go back to uh, the console. Now, let me just test to see if it is using uh, Pac-Man. All right, so it's not found. Anyways, we got HTOP installed, so let's click on that. Let me make this bigger, see if I can zoom in. And we're using 1.5 gigabytes out of four gigabytes. Our load average is 0 0.56, 0 0.96, and 0 0.85. And this is the only program open right now. It's the uh, console, which is running HTOP here. All right, so yeah, pretty good system. And you can see I'm only using four cores. All right, I'll close that. Yeah, I'll confirm, close window. All right, well, this is chaos. Uh, pretty good system. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Everything looks good. It says it's using the latest and greatest plasma. So if there's something you want to take a look at, uh, I'll have the links down in the video description. All right, that's going to do it for me on this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and got some good information out of it. All right, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.